The third most played matchup in NFL history has its first NFC North showdown of the season. The Bears and the Lions in divisional play as we start this second half of the season. Bears and Lions from Fort Field in Detroit getting set to go. Third most played rivalry in NFL history right behind the Packers and Bears and this Thursday's Thanksgiving matchup, the Lions and the Packers. Lions have a two-game lead in the loss column ahead of the rest of the field. The Vikings are in action on Sunday night football against the Broncos tonight. They've won five in a row, and they're creeping up on Detroit. Bears trying to make it back-to-back -back wins for the first time in the Matt Eberflus era. They got the Thursday night win over Carolina a week and a half ago at home. Detroit won the toss and deferred, so the Bears will receive. It will be Travis Homer, special teams maven in his first year with Chicago. And Jack Fox will kick away to get us going in week 11 from the Motor City. And out to the 25-yard line will come Justin Fields and the Chicago Bear offense. And Fields rolling. Pointing, being chased, and he'll fling it away as Brian Branch brought the pressure, their excellent rookie slot corner who does a lot of different things. It's a very tough Detroit offense with Goff rolling out. And at the very last moment, St. Brown makes the catch, and he gets a shot from Jalen Johnson, the corner coming in strong, but that's eight yards for Amon Ra St. Brown. Changing the play, killing it to a run play. And Montgomery. He takes it out across the 40-yard line to set up a manageable third down. Montgomery, the third-round draft pick by the Bears in 2019. Lined up wide in the empty set here. On third down, Goff past the sticks. Perfectly executed for Amon Ross St. Brown. Was lined up with a guy he saw in college in Kyler Gordon, their slot corner. A nine-yard gain to move the chains. He is so strong at the top of the route. Here he is, just going to get at that top of the route and then use his strength. Quickness, boom, off there, and then open up to your quarterback. Give him a friendly target. And Jared Goff just so good with the timing of the offense. I mean, it's impossible to get Jared Goff when you're getting out of the ball, the ball out of your hand that quickly. Here comes Montgomery again. That's an angry run. He had plenty of those in a Bears uniform. An excellent tackle-breaking running back in his time at Iowa State. That's It's time to give to Khalil Herbert. And he turns the corner. Really nice job by Julian Okwara. And Josh Pascal to get in there and force Herbert wide. Well, yeah, they're coming across here. There's Herbert right here. And you see the misdirection, pulling one way, trying to hand almost like a jet sweep out of the backfield the other way, and Detroit all over that one. Aaron Glenn, defense coordinator. There is Foreman. Great penetration by Brian Branch. There's the rookie. Aaron Glenn calls him a missile out of that slot corner spot. He can play up, he can play back. Well, I love, I love the look, just the body language, looks like he's in man-to-man -man coverage here, and then the timing of coming in on that run blitz right there. That's what sets it apart. Just that quick timing, not giving it away so that you can adjust as a blocker. Beautifully done by Brian Branch. Running down again, they get the snap off. On third and long, Fields had it batted down. That ball was loose. It's going to be ruled an incomplete pass. John Kaminsky has earned his spot up front for Detroit. He and Charles Harris with some serious pressure for the Lions. Yeah, just, I mean, see it out of the hand. That's it. Jared Goff, nice throw past the sticks. It's a first down for Josh Reynolds as Eddie Jackson rips him down. But they pick up 11 yards to move the chains. Josh Reynolds, this is what he does, get first downs. Yeah, and he's out there wide. You can't see him in the screen, but you're going to see him come in there, settle down in this, right here, in this hole, and then just give the quarterback a target. Show him your number. <laughs> it used to be numbers, but now it's just number. Detroit, fresh set of downs. Off the fake. Jared Goff. This is one of the most explosive offenses in the league. They love to go deep, and Josh Reynolds is going to draw a flag. 
Jalen Johnson, who's their best corner in terms of coverage for the Bears. Pass interference on a defense number 33. That's a spot foul on an automatic. Gets called for the pass interference. Well, here he is out there just one on one on the outside and you're going to watch him right at the top of this route. Going to stick. See, there's a little double move. You're trying to little, you know, a, a little stutter go there and he gets caught on the stutter and then he's <laughs> not only does he get caught on the stutter, he's got an arm bar going on as well. So, I mean, you got the uh, you got you got not only holding, but you got P.I. You got the whole nine yards there. The Bears trying to take advantage. Oh, wow. A lot of going on after that first snap. Fields has to go diving down as Branch and Hutchinson were both in the area for a loss of two. Fields. Boy, they held up against Hutchinson pretty well that time. Tyler Scott loses the football. Still loose on the deck. Who wants it? Matt Eberflus pointing, but it's going to be Detroit football. Cam Sutton knocked it out. Alex Anzalone's got the ball for Detroit. Cam Sutton right here. Man to man right here. Watch him drop off. He's going to come back in there. And just a little punch right there. Create that opportunity for your offense in the mad scramble. But really great timing with the hands. See his eyes, he's following the ball after he punches it out. Well, I'll tell you what, that thing goes all over the place, doesn't it? Sure does. Anzalone was the one who ripped it out of there. Tyler Scott, the rookie fourth round pick out of Cincinnati on Thanksgiving, Thursday morning on Thanksgiving. Here's Jameer Gibbs now. And good blocking. Taylor Decker's out there for Jameer Gibbs. Graham Glasgow threw a really nice block off the right guard spot, and Gibbs runs it for 14. Well, the big thing about Gibbs is timing of the offense, the tempo of the run game, and he used to hit it so fast early, and Dan Campbell told us about week seven against Baltimore is when he started to slow down and let his blocks develop in front of him because he's so quick, and Ever since that timing, ever since he got that tempo, he has been really good running the ball out of the backfield, a dynamic pass catcher as well. A little inside toss for Amon Ross St. Brown, and he dives ahead to move the chain. Seemingly, he's based on our, our unofficial line. Looked like he picked it up. We're just going to run a little inside trap game. Bam, come over here, knock somebody down, flip the ball to Amon Ra, and let him go in there and run tough. That's what he does. I mean, there's not many receivers that want to run in between the tackles, but he's one of them. Now, that technically goes down as a pass play, but that's just an extension of their run game. They're playing a physical drive. They got Dan Skipper as an eligible man on the top side of the formation. Toss play coming left, Jameer Gibbs to the pylon. And the Lions take advantage of the takeaway. So big Dan Skipper out of the perimeter. That drew some eyeballs. Just watch this. Everybody's going this way, and they're just going to flip the ball over here to the running back. I mean, how easy is that? One on one, and my guy could beat your guy to the pylon. Great play design. Fields had four touchdowns in that game, but Hutchinson had the better of the two meetings last year in the NFL. Herbert, not much there. As he tries to get back into the mix. Quinton Bohanna was part of the rotation now as he comes over from Dallas making his Detroit debut elevated from the practice squad so they get a little bit of reinforcement there with Isaiah Bugs out. Who's dynamic an opportunity. Fields play action fields for more downfield and Branch was right there nearly took it away but he read it well. Their branch had that pick six on Patrick Mahomes in the opener in Kansas City. He was looking for another big play there. Well, he does a great job deep as a zone defender. Look at him break on this football and almost comes down with a great catch. But how impressive had this rookie been for Detroit? 
It's second down. It is Foreman. He's got nowhere to go. There's Quinton Bohanna. Brings up third down for Detroit's defense. The 17. Design run to the left for Fields with Johnson blocking and a good job by Detroit to spill that to the outside. And Fields has to take a tumble. Cam Sutton is already forced to fumble in this game is in the area. Fields throws end zone looking for Herbert and the back shoulder throw won't go. Good job by the linebacker Alex Anzalone in coverage. Aleem McNeil brought some pressure late on Fields. Well, the pressure, it always starts with the pressure. Anytime you can get pressure on the opponent's quarterback, you're going to you're going to create a, a potential error and throw. You see the hit right there by McNeil. Creates good coverage man to man because they double teamed on that particular play. They went after DJ Moore on a double team, so that left everybody else in one on one coverage. They've been one of the most explosive offenses in all the NFL. Off very solid in this two minute. There goes Amon Ross St. Brown. Right to the 35 for 10 yards, and here comes Detroit. Plenty of time. There's St. Brown again, right over the middle on the slant. That's an area he's starting to dominate now over the last couple of months. Well, when you go off underneath to check down to Gibbs. Bears are playing a little bit soft back, and that's eight more yards. So just like that, Lions march down the field. They've yet to use a timeout. They still got 50 seconds in county. He set for golf on third and two. Golf pumps, golf throws. Eddie Jackson put a big hit on Jamison Williams, but those Alabama boys just collided and Williams held on. Held on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Here comes Chicago bringing a blitz and a good job by Goff to find Gibbs. Edwards has to shove him out and that stops the clock after an eight-yard gain. Only Jared Goff delivers. Well, you're going to bring pressure everywhere. I mean, you're coming down off the edges, on the backside. Look how quickly Goff gets that ball out, reads that pressure. They always say, replace the ball with the blitzer, right? Another blitz from the Bears. So the check down to Gibbs with a blocker in front. And he's down near the 10 yard line. Stevenson the tackle. Ooh. And that was a tough one from Stevenson on Gibbs, but. Again, calm Jared Goff delivers against the Browns. Right, and we're talking about it. Blitzers, blitzers coming off the edge and just dump it out here to your back. Easy peasy, and then go ahead, get out there. On third and goal, just a four-man rush. Goff to the end zone, and St. Brown held on for the touchdown and the first Lions lead of the day. Amon Ross St. Brown right here on the slot and just watched it. I mean, that is just saying, I don't care where anybody is. I'm just going to fit it into a tight window, contested catch, and that's what he does. There's mom and dad. I got a chance to meet them before the game. Wonderful people. What do you really think when you read between the lines? Here is Montgomery running between the tackles. And he's dragging Jaquan Brisker all the way out to the 45. 20 hard earned yards again for the former Bear. Well, you know what? It all starts up front. And just watch the movement you get on the inside. When you get this kind of movement, just, I mean, unbelievable off the ball. Defensive lineman four yards deep into the backfield. Linebackers can't adjust. And that's how you get a running back into open space for Montgomery. They run it with Montgomery. Nice little fill block that time by Frank Ragnow, the center. He's one of the best centers in the NFL. As opposed to explosive plays from a quarterback. Wow, that toss play got blown up. If you had to put some money on who just blitzed into the backfield against the run and made a play, you might win some money if you said this, Brian Branch. This guy just, does he do it all or what? I mean, he is all over the place, coming off the edge. You see him lined up anytime you're close to the edge, and that's one of those things you're going to have to start thinking about. And he drops back in coverage underneath to Herbert. Good job by Anzalone to come right to the ball and make the tackle after a short gain. It's third down and 11. That's 
when this offense started to click. Back to the ground game. There's Jameer Gibbs with an excellent run on first down. Picks up eight. Good blocking by Sorsdahl. And getting that start at left guard today for the Lions offense. Goff. Back to Gibbs, out of the backfield, and Jalen Johnson unable to get him down, nor can Edmonds. Jackson finally pushes Gibbs out of bounds. The 21, little crack toss for Johnson, and he runs right into the defense. It's Josh Paschal. Remember, he missed about a month plus with that knee injury he suffered in Kansas City. They are really happy to have him back to add this depth up front. That's been the story for the Lions this year, depth on both sides of the ball. Play fake. Now here's a pass. If Fields can get it off, which he cannot. Ali McNeil's having the best season of his three in the NFL. That's his fifth sack to take over the team lead for Detroit. And it's third and long. Well, I mean, you talk about a guy that's just getting things done right now. There's the guard. He's over. But look at double team right there. That's Davis. Then he goes inside, outside, spin move. I mean, you name it. And... That's one of those situations where coverage is so good it allows the defensive tackle and McNeil to get there on the pass rush. There's Goff into a tight window, and what a catch that is. Well, I guess when you throw into a tight window, Amon Ross St. Brown more often than not is going to come out with it. That's 16. The shot position here. Goff will have to check it down. Gibbs slips the tackle of Edmonds. And a smart play by the rookie to get out of bounds after picking up the additional yardage. That's a heads-up play right there to pick up 13 and stop the clock. How about the wiggle right there? T.J. Edwards back in. Good to see him back in, but just shake him down. First break the tackle, and right here, a oh, little shakedown on T.J. Edwards. Find myself the sideline. Goff climbs it. Goff launches. Got a man. End zone. Touchdown. Jamison Williams is becoming a big play threat, and he's got the Lions within a score. Well, watch these two guys right here. These are your guys, and Almond Ross St. Brown, he just creates so much attention. You see right there, Johnson. Watches him on the in-cutting route. They get to the deep corner by Williams. Beautifully executed and a great throw. Here's Herbert. And the Lions defense stacks him. No gain. Jack Campbell. Man. On second down. And again, the Lions. Defense is there for a stop. Ali McNeil sets up third down and another timeout used here. Here's Goff on the slant to Montgomery. And the former Bear trying to do it against his old club, the 40-yard line. Eddie Jackson unable to bring him down, and that moves it to 13 yards. Again, before the two-minute warning, the playbook's wide open. And so is that hole for David Montgomery. Taylor Decker out there blocking for a 12-yard run. Down to the two-minute warning we go. Point game, two minutes to go. Lions ball one timeout. It's gone underneath. Jameer Gibbs. And it'll be a gain to the 42-yard line. He picks up six. Sanborn was there to stop him. Pressure coming from the Bears. Goff delivers to Laporta. Out of bounds to stop the clock in front of Edwards. Sam Laporta picked a good time to be available. Yeah, I did. Just on the little out right here. Quick stick. Knows the pressure's coming. See how we adjust that route on the quick stick to the outside. Gets himself out of bounds. Be a friendly target to your quarterback when you see pressure coming. Goff. Out of a stumbling throw, he finds Montgomery. And Montgomery nearly gets the sticks, just shy of the line to gain. How cool is Goff right now? Drives. Did it against the Chargers last week, trying to do it again. And Montgomery doing it again. This is the game that David Montgomery's been waiting for. 60 seconds left. And had the game-winning drive. Goff. Delivers low throw and another nice catch by Amon Ross St. Brown in a tough spot. 
And the Lions inside the 10. Look at Hoover. He's like a vacuum cleaner. Hoover <laughs> just been down there on the turf. Still have time to run the football here. Stink, you're right about that. It's Gibbs. It's a run. It's Gibbs. Close to the marker. Eddie Jackson saved a touchdown, but the Lions are in a perfect position. Do the Bears start thinking about timeout usage here? Yes. First charge timeout, Chicago. First down and goal with 26 seconds left. And, you know, I mean, just amazing. Double teams at the point of attack. Great job by Glasgow getting up to the second level, but just understanding the time, where you're at with the clock, and having that running back still an option because you know that defense is playing for the passing game. And probably one more play coming after that. You could probably have a couple of cracks on the ground if you really wanted to to try to get the half yard to take the lead. I think that's exactly the direction you go in, Adam. You run the ball here. It's Montgomery, and the former Bear has given the Lions the lead. Go ahead, hand it to Montgomery. Inside, trust that offensive line. They're going to get movement. They do. And just look at that push up front. Go ahead and celebrate. I tell you, from experience, man, there is nothing like playing against your old team yep. and, you know, having an opportunity to win that game. They'll go for two to try to make it a field goal lead. It's only their second two-point conversion attempt of the year. Fake to Montgomery. Goff comes right back the other way. Laporta gives him a three-point lead with 29 seconds to go. All the action's going to come this way, and then you're going to get the little hide behind it from Laporta. Watch him block, block, all that action, and then nobody picks up Laporta at that, call that a hide. Just kind of hide behind everybody, then get yourself to the opposite side from the action. Really well designed. Two-point play. Fields with Hutchinson coming. That ball is out. Darnell Wright kicks it in back of the end zone. Two points for Detroit with 21 seconds left. And Hutchinson boots it out of there. Well, there's Hutch right there on the outside. Watch the ribbon, the tight hoop. Just turning it, and I love that aspect. Instead of going for the sack, just poke the ball out. Sack the football. You see the hand right there going down on Justin Fields. Ball gets kicked out of the end zone, but that, nice. Just a great pass rush and a great job leaning into the offensive tackle. Explosiveness, they found it. High kick. Hoping for a little bit of uh, action here, and it's caught by Amon Ross St. Brown, and that's going to do it. What a comeback by the Detroit Lions. And Jared Goff and the brand new Lions are going to be in brand new territory. They'll be 8-2 and two for the first time in over 60 years. Look at Dan Campbell. That is one authentic dude right there. His players love him. There's a toughness to their football team. We've seen the physicality, the toughness from a physical standpoint. Right there, we just saw toughness from a mental standpoint.